So I'm standing here, I'm crouching here on beach rock that is made of many, many shells. Shells are all around us. Here are some. And so these particles get glued together in beach rock very close to the beach because it's drier there. But if they're washed out into the sea, they get ground up by waves and they get torn into bits that, are, that make this finer, finer sand here. You can see it all suspended. You can see the <laughs> all of these fine particles flying around. And that gets trapped by microbial mats. And microbial mats, I'm stripping some of them here, are this leathery material made of many, many microbes. It's sticky and you can strip it, pull it apart. And so all of this sticky surface here, all of this pinkish stuff traps some of this finer suspended sediment that was made by ground up shells and binds them together into layers. And this is how we, maybe somewhere further out, make a stromatolite. Stromatolites are then shaped by currents and waves into columnar head-like structures and they end up being laminated. And ultimately, modern stromatolites depend on shells for their existence because it is the minerals from the shells that get trapped and bound into stromatolites. So lamina are just layers. This is what scientists say used to call a layer. So when you section a stromatolite, which we'll see, you see many, many layers added together that are made uh, by all of these particles. So sand grains and sticky microbial substances, some minerals in between. 